Howdy, my name is William Rumley. I'm the court director of the Fort Worth Municipal Court. And today we're going to spend a few minutes to learn about the City Marshal's uh, division of the Fort Worth Municipal Court. I have with me today uh, City Marshal Phil Swift. And so, Phil, if you'll uh, take just a few minutes and let's talk about the City Marshal's. So, uh, can you explain to everyone just what is the City Marshal in Fort Worth? Well, first of all, good morning. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here. So the city marshal's office in Fort Worth, or the city marshal's division, is a division of the municipal courts. Um, by ordinance, our primary duty is to enforce the orders of the court. Generally speaking, that means warrants, bringing people before the court um, who have missed court dates or have failed to, to meet other requirements of their cases. Um, we have approximately 44 sworn uh, law enforcement officers here at the marshal's division. Um, and along with our normal um, job of, of serving warrants and, and, and whatnot. We also have a uh, Lake Patrol Division, which is, enforces the Marine Safety uh, Code at Lake Worth. They also patrol the parks, uh, the surrounding area. Uh, they offer assistance to residents when they have 911 calls. Um, and we, ha we have five deputies out there year round. So it's a very unique thing that we do here. We also have a building security section um, and their responsibilities include um, screening here at the PSB and also at City Hall, ensuring that everyone that comes to our facilities is safe and feels safe in, in that environment. They also provide the bailiffing uh, for the courts um, where they assist the judge in making sure that the courts run smoothly and professionally and without disruption. The marshals have been around uh, in kind of two ideations. Uh, we had them here in Fort Worth and then uh, they were disbanded and then they were brought back um, and, and we've been here ever since. So. So Marshal Swift, what is the difference between say a city marshal and a city Fort Worth police officer? So I think at the end of the day, it comes down to specialization. Uh, both the marshals, deputies, or deputy marshals and Fort Worth police officers are law enforcement officers in the state of Texas and they're authorized to carry out all the same duties. The uh, Fort Worth Police Department specializes in the day-to-day -day enforcement of the penal code, traffic code, uh, doing investigations, uh, so on and so forth. Whereas the Marshals Division specializes in doing warrant enforcement. Um, we use traffic enforcement as another means of contacting individuals in order to determine if they have warrants. So that's really the primary difference between them. Um, to be frank, if you see a Marshal stand next to a police officer, you're not going to notice a difference. Uh, we, we wear almost the same uniform. Uh, empowered to do the same things. We just both specialize in different areas of the law. Excellent. So um, what are some maybe unique things that you haven't talked about today that sometimes the marshals or even consistently are, are doing uh, within the city? So yes, yeah, so we do do a lot of things. Uh, it's fair to mention we, we have a bike patrol which offers quite a bit of services kind of across the downtown area. Um, we also take part in courts in the community and warrant forgiveness. Um, programs here at the municipal courts. We also provide security to city council meetings, um, ones that take place at city hall as well as ones that take place other places. So anywhere where the city council's together, we'll be there providing security uh, for them as well. We also take part in a lot of um, other community projects. We were highly involved with um, vaccination, uh, providing a traffic direction and, and things of that nature. And then we also get a lot of calls for those things that may otherwise fall through the cracks. Um, for instance, during our last big cold snap when all the power was out, uh, we got a phone call uh, here at my office and they asked us to go out to the library and, and open it up so it could be used as a warming center for the public. We were more than happy to do that, but definitely not one of those things you would think of us doing uh, just routinely. Absolutely. So let's turn for a moment just to, you know, staff and particularly career. So if somebody was interested in becoming a city marshal, how do they do that and what does it take? So, you know, I, I pride myself on the fact that we have a very diverse staff here at the Marshals Division. And we have people at the beginning of their careers, we have people at the end of their careers, we have people that have retired from other places, from all different backgrounds. It, it's really a great place to work. So currently, you have to already have your TCO license to be a law enforcement officer and two years of experience either in the military, security, or, or, or with another agency. Um, at that point, you can apply to become a, a deputy marshal and, and go through the hiring process. We are in the process, and probably after the first of the year, we'll have opportunities for individuals who are just starting their careers, um, who may be working on their uh, TCO license, or maybe they don't have that experience, where they'll be able to come in at what we'll call a deputy marshal one, gain the experience they need, 
uh, and then move into what we'll call then the Deputy Marshal II position. So once you get hired here, um, like I said, we've got opportunities at Lake Patrol and at Warrants and Bike Patrol and Building Security and a lot of different things um, you, you can do, especially if you have an interest in the judiciary and how the courts run and, and kind of the other side of police work. Um, you'll definitely get a lot of experience there um, with that here. Well, Marshal Swift, thank you for spending a few minutes today to talk about the marshals. I know as the director, I appreciate the value that your team brings uh, each and every day to the court and to the community. Um, we have a lot of good uh, engagement from the staff and, and have a really good relationship with the community. So, again, thank you for spending a few minutes with us uh, to tell folks about the marshals. And uh, if folks are interested in uh, learning about a career, they can contact the Human Resources Department or even contact the court, and then we could direct them to the right uh, place to contact in order to, to start that process. Um, so thank you again, uh, Mr. Swift, and we uh, appreciate your time today. Thank you for the opportunity.